separated. And the conservative candidate Ivan Duque has won Colombia's presidential election, having campaigned to overhaul the 2016 peace agreement with the FARC rebels. Well, let's get more analysis on that story. Juan Diego Castro is an analyst with the Peace and Reconciliation Foundation. He joins us now from Bogota. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Juan Diego. Um, what happens now to the peace deal? Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Nikim, and your show and with your audience around the world. Well, what happens now is that we have to defend the peace accords. Uh, candidate Duque has won with 54 percent of the votes. But uh, this is a historic day in Colombian democracy because actually for the first time we can say that we have finally transcended into the 21st century politically. And what do I mean by that? Is that for the first time we actually have a candidate from the left who is actually who is actually close to winning the election with 42 percent of the votes eight million votes represented by that 42 percent versus the 10 million votes that candidate duque uh, had had today uh, so finally the, the the left has is able to become the official opposition in the country and this was before the peace accord something that we could not even imagine because for 50 years we had the farc and many other guerrilla uh, groups uh, becoming an excuse, sort of like an excuse to not ever be able to elect the left as a viable option uh, to run the country. So finally, we uh, the opposition in the left is the official opposition. And uh, candidate Petro, in his speech, has claimed that his uh, his first goals with this, with, 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 as, as the official opposition are to combat corruption, to make sure that the peace accords are, are saved are, and, and that the country, the state actually, because these are uh, accords that were signed by the state, not just by one government, that the state actually fulfills its promises uh, to peace in Colombia. And one more note that I want to make, these were the most peaceful elections in Colombian history, and these were all benefits from that peace accord. Well, so those are all the positives, but don't forget that that peace accord, which you're citing now, wasn't very popular with the Colombian public. In fact, they rejected it the first time that it was put to a, a vote. And one of the things that Mr. Duque has talked about is making uh, guerrillas and people who have committed crimes during the past 50 years of conflict, making sure that they are punished for those crimes. That is something which it appears that, as you said, 10 million people have voted for now. No, that's right. But... Uh... Uh, you see, we have in the past four years, actually, since the peace negotiations started, we've had an opposition sabotaging the peace negotiations. And this opposition was led by former President Alvaro Uribe. And one of the main reasons why he was uh, so against the peace accords is because the peace accords were going to set into place a special peace tribunal, which would actually, uh, uh, would actually invite all actors all actors from this conflict, not just the guerrilla, not just the military, but also people in the private uh, sector who finance paramilitary groups, as well as politicians who align themselves with criminal groups to come in and tell the truth. So this was something that Alvaro Uribe and his party, the Centro Democrático, have been against from the, uh, from the beginning. He used a number of techniques that were very disloyal. A lot of fake news came ac across and they started this message which has actually resembled across uh, uh, the right wing in Latin America, which is the Castro Chavismo, you know, the fear of becoming like Venezuela like, like, and like, like, uh, and like, like Castro Cuba. in Cuba and um, Chavez in, in Venezuela. That's, right. that, that's sort of and like so, the, and so the it was arch. very. And unfortunately, Juan Diego, we have to leave that's it right. there because we, we've, we've run out of time. But thank you so much for joining us. And of course, clearly, that's a story that we'll keep an eye on. Juan Diego Castro uh, joining us from 